Hello again. Um, today I want to talk to you about uh, a script that's available in, for Reaper. It's a free to download. You can donate if you want. And it's called MPL Align Takes. Hello guys, once again I'm going to apologise for not being able to find time to make any videos of late. I've been really, really busy with um, kind of an album I've been trying to get finished that I've been mixing. Plus my studio has been booked out um, with a producer and a singer that were in here writing some stuff. So I just haven't, I haven't even been able to get in here because they had a, they had a, a block book out on it. So there you go. Um, such is life. But anyway, I thought I'd throw together a quick down and dirty video for you tonight just to make people aware of this fantastic script that's available for Rupert called Align Takes. It's ba basically, if you've heard of the the famous vocal line, that's uh, a commercially available f a plug in that I think goes for about $400. Don't quote me on it. I think there's various versions of it as well. I have used it in a studio I worked in years ago, but. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is that now, um, whoever this guy MPL is, I'm not 100% sure who's written this script, but he's written this amazing script called Align Takes, which is available for a free download in Reaper. Now, how I've downloaded it is, is if we uh, go up here to extensions, I've installed a thing called Reapack. If you go to reapack.com, you'll find all the instructions on how to install it, how to use it. It uses a GitHub, I think, as the the depository for all the scripts. And then it just hooks up to all of them and you can install as many or as few as you want. Okay? So just head on over to reapack.com and all the instructions for that is there. I'm not going to go into that at the moment. So that's how that came about to be in my computer. Then this is the interface. Now I'm just going to give you a quick introduction to this. I just really want to make people aware that this thing exists. There are all these fine adjustments down here. Now I fiddled about with them, but I, I just I, I, the default setup when it comes up, I'm usually pretty happy. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to hide this for the minute. If I can get the screen to. Show. So I'm going to get rid of that because this is the important stuff up here that I want to show you. Now I'm going to give you a quick blast of this track. This is by a band called Galleon. This is the, the album that I've been mixing. Um, and they've allowed me to use this track, but I want to, so because they've allowed me to use it, I want to give you a blast of their music. It's just, I've really enjoyed working on this album. Really good music. So here's a quick blast and then we'll get into what I wanted to talk about. and chorus there. Now what we've got going on here, these are the vocals here. So this is Gary, the lead singers, or not lead singer, they're, they're both dual lead singers, so I'm not going to do that. Um, so he's got a doubled vocal, which is tight enough. I'm perfectly happy with that, so I'm not going to use this. Um, because how this works, um, what happens is you, whatever vocal you select, uh, that's at the top of the screen here. This is Gary's vocal here we're going to use, the one I've just highlighted, and this is Charlotte's vocal underneath that we're going to align to his vocal. Okay, so let's give these two a quick listen before we analyse and use the uh, align takes. I've never felt so good in all of my life I didn't think that I could 
pull myself out of it when stuff goes wrong. Okay, now it's not too far out, but I don't know if you can notice, I'm not worried about the notes that linger on longer. It's the actual beginning of each word. I want, would like some of them to be a little bit tighter. So what we have to do is if we select both vocals, you have to make sure both items that you want to time align you are selected. And again, as I say, the one you're using for reference is at the top, and the one that you want to align it, align to that reference is underneath. You can have you know five or six tracks as many tracks as you want underneath here and they will all align to the one reference track okay so i'm just working with the two for this one so let's just simply press get and it'll analyze takes a second or two okay now you can see here where it's found all the points where it feels it needs to add time stretch markers so what we'll do as you can see there's nothing added yet but as soon as I just pull on the the strength knob or whatever you want to call it, strength slider they appear and you can see you can get quite extreme effects with the stretch markers and you can see as it moves the vocal around so what we'll do is we'll listen to it at the kind of basic where it's decided to start I've never felt so good in all of my life. I didn't think that I could. Okay, now let's see what happens when we give it a bit more extreme settings. I've never felt so good in all of my life. I didn't think that I could. Pull myself out of it when stuff goes wrong. Now that's pretty good. You've got to be a little bit careful. I have found sometimes if the, the these vo the vocals are kind of more out of time than these ones are, you can get some real glitchy effects. So you've got to find a, a you know a nice balance. But in this case, that works fine for me. So I'm happy with that. And that's me finished. That's that's it. Just close that up, save it. You can render that again if you want. That's you. So that's Align Takes, a free script that you can download for Reaper. I uh, hope you found this useful. Hope to see you again sooner than, our, than, the, than the last time. And uh, please subscribe, like, give me a comment, say hello. See you in the next one, peeps. Bye now.